Alright, what's up guys? We're going to be talking about what's in the Dessa box. And uh, yeah, this is probably one of the coolest boxes I've had for something to come in. But uh, yeah, let's uh, look at a quick little montage. Alright guys, we're going to be talking about a product from Northern Charlotte, North Carolina. I don't know why I did that voice, but I did. Um, we're going to be talking about a company called Lazy Vapors. And they make a disc. And they make a mech mod. And they, he is in the process of making a DNA 250C with a LiPo battery. Which is also, you know, a stab wood like this. Alright, so let's go give you a little back brief about this company, or a little bit of history. Let's, let's, let's take a little history course, why don't we? Um, okay, so uh, Seth Catley is the owner and creator of all the mods at Lazy Vapors. And the reason it's called Lazy Vapors is because, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, back in the day he used to make juice and deliver juice. Uh, he lived in a college town or still lives in the college town and he would make juice and deliver it to people who either A couldn't go out and get it, B didn't feel like going and getting it, but wanted it, or just people who vaped and wanted juice and didn't have the means or opportunity to go get it, he would deliver it to you. Which became the name Lazy Vapors because they were lazy and he wasn't and he would deliver to them. So, you know, something came about, uh, his entrepreneurial spirit came out, and he created the company Lazy Vapors, and now they make mods. So, I hope that was a good little back brief. Um, there's a lot I could talk about this company. This company, um, in general, makes awesome products. They are high quality, high end, uh, stab wood and exotic wood, DNA mods and mech mods. Um, I will drop down to the table now. At the end, I'll give you a little bit more, um... Some more information about his company and, you know, what he does, how much time and effort and, you know, love goes into this. So, uh, let's drop down to the table and take a look at this little gem and let's go. Let's do this. Okay, so this is the case it came in and there's going to be four of these. I took two of them off already so it wouldn't be so long to get it, take it off. Um... Uh, you know, not the most beautiful box, but, you know, very uh, effective. And when he's shipping it, it's going to be very, very protected from the UPS who don't seem to care if they throw your packages or, you know. But, yeah, very, very protected. Came in just like this. Very nice mint green, mint green-esque foam. Um, and he makes these himself. He makes these boxes himself out of white Delrin, just to let you know. You know, thought you'd like to know. Um, okay, so here is the creme de la creme, the gem itself. Alright, now look at this bad, 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 bad thing. I mean, look at this thing, man. I mean, take a look at this thing. It, it is immaculate. Just, just, you know, take it in for a second. Mirror finish. Um, I believe this is a, uh, I think he said like a maple ash burl or something like that. I believe that's what he said. So that's why it looks so amazing. This is like one of the sought after types of stab wood because of the way it comes out after you uh, dye it and do the process and everything. I mean, it looks just simply amazing. Looking at the other side, um, you know, it looks a lot, a lot different in sunlight, but I mean, even under this light, it still looks absolutely stunning. Um, looking at the, the couple things I don't like, um, initially I didn't like were these little chips right here but you got to realize how hard stab wood is to work with and you know the thing is it's not like there's a whole chunk missing or anything so it's not awful and, and it keeps the uniformity still so it's okay um, taking it off everything in here that you see is made by him you know he makes you know that with the magnet he doesn't make the magnets because I don't think he's a scientist but you know very easy to get the battery out just kind of push down it pops out uh, you're going to see the keystone contacts, white Delrin to keep the battery away from the board. You got this little cutout that he makes. I'm sorry, this bottle doesn't really work in here, but I didn't want to refill a different bottle. Okay, so bottle types that fit. You're going to have your lost vape. Fits perfectly if you cut the tube. Um, you got these Y star bottles. They'll fit perfectly if you cut the tube as well. Another Y star bottle fits perfectly. 
The bottles it come with is, I believe this one is the YTFK types. I don't like these, so we're going to get rid of that. I don't know what kind of bottle this is, but it works. And yeah, most bottles will work in here, okay? So after we look at that, you're going to look at the top. The top um, fits up to about a 24. Uh, you got Mod Maker internals. These are the brass contacts. You got Keystone con contacts over here for your battery, like I said. Uh, this is all wood that's made by him, Exotic Wood, and you can see the stab wood coming through on the other side. It is a DNA 75C. Uh, it's going to be negative down, positive up. It fits in there very nicely. Uh, when you put the door on, the magnet's very firm. There's no play anywhere at all. Uh, this side is completely on, so you're not going to have to worry about that. But yeah, no play. No button rattle. The uh, door will not come off with any type of force. Just a very nice mod, guys. I, I just brought it down so you could kind of see, you know, how beautiful it is just under the camera. And, and it doesn't really give it the greatest justice. I mean, because look how mirrored that is. You can actually see my lighting on it. So, yeah. Um, that's about it, you know. That's, that's it in a nutshell. I'm not going to go over the board, but it is a DNA 75C. There's no replay on it, but you could put replay on this. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Just one last look. See if I can zoom in maybe a little bit. I don't know if that gives it the justice, but absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's go back up on top. All right, so let me keep this short, sweet, and to the mother effing point. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with some things that I do not like. There's not very many, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with the things I do not like. Um, at first, I didn't really like the fact that that was kind of chipped right there, and it was chipped right there. But then I realized that this is handmade. It's not made with, like, uh, machines. It's, C it's not CNC'd, I guess, is what it would be. I'm not really a mod maker, but... I always hear that, that term thrown around CNC and I kind of know what it is and I know that that's like, you know, how most uh, mods are made that are custom handcrafted, not really handcrafted, but you know what I mean. Custom mods are really, for the most part, something like, uh, I don't know, US mods, I think they use a lot of CNC, but this is handmade by one person and I mean, just looking at it from internally, Everything in there is custom. You know, that's made by him. That's White Delrin. You know, this is, well, of course, the inside of the box is made by him. But then, I believe he created this, too, which is what holds the chip in place. Because a lot of the times, you can buy a, like, a, a mount for the chip. But I think he makes his own. I believe he does. Um, you know, there's a mirror finish on this. So, you can see every little pit inside the stab wood. I mean, just this thing is just incredible. You look at it in the light, and this light that I have here doesn't give it the justice that it really deserves, and it still looks pretty, you know, spectacular. There's not one scratch on this mirror finish. I mean, looking at the other side, it's the same. It just it, it just flows so well from side to side into the middle of the box to where this exotic wood in the middle just looks perfect. Um, the next thing I wasn't really a fan of was the fact that that bottom button looks a little chewed out. But, you know, every mod isn't going to be that way because each one is handcrafted and it, it all depends on how well the stab wood wants to let it, you work with it because stab wood can be either really brittle or it can be like, you know, easy to work. It's not easy to work with, but some may not splinter and, and, and kind of give you a weird shape like others. So that's why when, when I seen this and I talked to him and I thought about it and I thought, you know what, if he would have thrown away this whole door just because that little piece, that would have been like a... A wasted opportunity for a beautiful thing you know um, I like that the lines are very uniform even on the other side they're very uniform uh, they match the outside which is very nice uh, you're gonna fit about a 24 on top very flush no uh, no raised up situation going on uh, the internals are very good you know you got the mod maker uh, brass contacts now if you get the mech mod uh, there are some that have the silver contacts or the brass contacts. So that's a very good thing. You know, the mod maker contacts are the 510 is a very uh, dependable and used regularly, you know, piece of equipment. Um, I like this too. I like how recessed the, the screen is because sometimes I'll put my hand over it and I won't touch the screen and smudge it up, which is very nice because, you know, some mods, 
the screen is I don't have one here but is very close to where the cutout is and you know you'll go and put your finger in it and it'll leave a fingerprint so I like that you know it's it's not there to where you can touch it really it's just a very good uniform box and it's a very good just piece of art to be honest and you're you know you would expect to find this in like in like a treasure box like you'd go on like a pirate ship and be like oh look what I found and then you pull out this but yeah uh, I'm trying to think if I left anything out um, prices range from 250 all the way up to like whatever material he's using so the baseline 250 is around is where the mech mods come into play and the mech mods are gonna look like this but of no screen of course and then I believe the squonk bottles up here and it's gonna look a little bit different you know up there but other than that they all look similar to this uh, if you spend a little bit of extra money I know that you can switch out the exotic wood for like a two-tone uh, stab wood so it's a little bit more but um, it, it could you know really create a really nice product um, I'm gonna put up a couple pictures right now of some of his other work and you can you know be the judge and you know make your own decision but I'm gonna take a quick hit while you guys are looking at these lay photos yeah I mean this is very very nice work and you know you really aren't gonna beat this and you know the last thing I wanna say is that you know all these products are made by one person in America and you're supporting a small company and I've said in the past that I like supporting small companies because they are way more appreciative about you know you reviewing their product because it, it just means more to them it you know I've reviewed products for mostly high-end and I've done a couple that were for Chinese big company products and they, they never even reached out to me and was like hey thank you but no they never did that it was more like hey I didn't like what you said there and I'm like hey F you buddy and that's how it went but most of my reviews even if they're not so flattering for the high-end people you know they, they take it with a grain of salt for the most part not everyone but you know they take it with a grain of salt and they realize they gotta move on make it better make it whatever because you know what if you can't learn from what other people say is not good then your products gonna fail but that's enough of me rambling on guys um, I really like this product. I'm going to show it to you one more time. I mean, just look at the beauty of it. I mean, this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, uh, there's a lot of different wood types that um, he uses in his products. And, I mean, they could just be any type of exotic wood. But, yeah, uh, thank you guys very much. Thank you for watching this. I hope you found this product very sexy, like I thought so. So, uh, yeah, thanks, guys.